I am so excited to be here at the Schmodown. This is my first time. I've been watching the competition. I feel like I've got something to contribute here. We always need more women, right? Making a singles debut means that not only am I cheating on Mary Jett again, which makes me a terrible person, but I also have to take on one of my best friends in the world. That's, that's rough. That's rough, man. Kara is my dog. That's my sister wife. Our other sister wife, Mary Jettigan. So what am I? A big, fat, stinking traitor. What fans can expect from me is enthusiasm. I have some great knowledge from many years, obsessing over movies and actors and everything in between. Uh, and I'm feisty. I can fight against Sasha. If I'm a competitor in this league, I'm going to have to have a really fine showing. Otherwise, me and my girl just might have to team up and do something serious in the team matches. Let me tell you a little something about Sasha Pearl Raver. She, she is a pro. She's got some experience. She's sassy. She's mouthy. But, you know, sometimes she doesn't think before she speaks. So I think I can, I can come at her a little bit. I will think a little bit more. I, I will pretend I don't know. I might, I might just be sneaky about it. The way this day is probably going to play out is the lights, man, the questions. It's things that I know, but then the, just the pressure it gets to you. But I need to prove this to myself. This is about me showing Sasha that Sasha knows things. I don't know. Sasha knows things and Sasha drinks, or maybe Sasha just drinks today. We'll find out. Sasha Pearl Raver, you do not know what's coming. Just watch your back. Because, Kara, I love you. You're so cool and smart and pretty and great. I don't want to hurt you, girl. Welcome back to the movie trivia schmodown. I'm Christian Harlow. I'm John Campia. John, the ultimate schmodown is done. We had the finale. Mark Ellis is going to face Dan Merle in the finals. And now we're back to league play. Yes. A lot of new competitors coming in. We have Sasha Poe Raver against Kara Warner tonight. Yeah, well, Sasha Poe Raver, it doesn't matter if it's Schmo down. It doesn't matter if it's Schmo's no. It doesn't matter if it's TV talk. Sasha Poe Raver is just exciting to watch whenever she's on screen. But Kara Warner is somebody to watch out for. She has covered film for years. She knows her stuff. This is going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting because they're really close friends also. And it's nice to see, A, them go after one another. That'll be a lot of fun because we're savages. Um, the other reason is because let's see Look, Clark Wolf and Gray Drake are very two strong female competitors. Yes. These are two female strong competitors. They are strong competitors all around the board. I want to see what they're going to do. I can't wait. I've seen Sasha Pro Raver compete. I've competed against Sasha Pro Raver before in the Ultimate Schmodown. She knows her stuff. It is going to be a lot of fun. Here's the tale of the tape. For Kara Warner, we have a lot of question marks. We don't know. I'm, we're, we were guessing classics. We're guessing Tom Hanks movies. Why? Because that's what we're guessing right now. <laughs> and Sasha Pearl Raver, we have comedies. We have Oscar winners. And we have yelling at whoever she wants to if you get in her way. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the movie trivia showdown. John, are you ready? I am ready. Introducing first. Representing people, ladies and gentlemen, making her Schmodown debut, Kara the Wardog Warner! There is Kara coming out here. She comes with the beer. I like it. Casey, she's ready to go. Beer and a dance. Oh, I like it. What a that is a showman already. I'm loving it. She's already won my heart by bringing out the beer. I like it. And the dance and the Kill Bill music. Unbelievable. And her opponent, representing TV Talk, making her Schmodown singles debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the mouth. <laughs> Sasha Pearl Raver! That's not Sasha! Oh, wait a minute! That's six degrees That's six of degrees coming around. back right after their big win against the Wangers. What's happening here? Oh, wait a minute! Who's oh, Harry and Nettle? We got and Wendy and Lee! Wendy Lee? What's happening here? This is there she oh, is! Yeah. It's the Queen! She comes out! With her Oscar! Sasha Pearl Raver coming out with the with the ladies. And oh, oh nice hug to her friend. Oh, 
look at that fake show of affection. I like it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. Here on the show. Wow, that is it. That was a crew. What a crew. All right, guys. Fine entrances and Kara already handing over the beer there. This is already a nice show of respect. It is. I just All right. to open it up. Round number one. Here's how it works. The ladies will get six questions from six predetermined categories. Each one is worth one point apiece. You cannot steal from your opponent. Sasha, you are the favorite. Would you like to go first or second? Kara, which would you prefer to do? Oh, please. Okay, she can go first. Okay, Kara's going first. <laughs> All right, Kara, category one or category two? Two. Category two. All right. All right, Kara, your very first movie trivia schmodown question under the category of animated. <gasps> Ooh. What is the name of the villain in the first Shrek film voiced by John Lithgow? Oh, man. What is his name? He's a prince, and he's funny. I don't know. I'm not going to get it. Prince... No. I don't know. I'm not going to remember that one. We were looking for Lord Farquaad. Ah, I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> okay. Not that one. We'll take a, we'll take a sip every time I miss Your get second one. question, under the category of comedy. Which comedy stars characters named Dusty Bottoms, Ned Niederlander, and Lucky Day? Ned Niederlander. Which comedy? Animated comedy. No, just just, just comedy. Just comedy. Just comedy. Oh. The category is comedy. <laughs> oh, right. No. Sorry. Just Four, messed it up right. Ned, do you wear a three, comedy? Dust I don't know. Two, one. Good night, Ned. We were looking for the three amigos. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know that one. Carrie, your third question. Under the category of drama, not animated comedy dramas. <laughs> <laughs> drama. Thank you. In what decade does the film Revolutionary Road take place? Ah, 1940. Very close. We're looking for the 1950s. Damn. All right, Sasha Pro Raver. At least I was you close. You were close. close. You were That's close. a much better. Sasha, in the I category of animated, in mm. Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora is cursed to die on which of her birthdays? Mother Effer, I would have known this one. Well, first of all, isn't that the one with the Blue Fairy? Uh, the 18th? Uh, it is not, and because you brought up the Blue Fairy, it is actually the 16th. Shite! <laughs> Um, that is, okay. <laughs> it is now time for oh, shit, your drink. comedy question. Yeah. What actor <clears throat> played Gilbert in the comedy classic Revenge of the Nerds? Fart. <laughs> John <laughs> Fart or? Fuck. Um, Louis Fart? Five. Anthony Edwards. Correct! Correct! Yeah. Yeah. That she got Her. it at the last second. I kept Damn saying it. in my head, I kept going, Anthony Michael Hall. Shit. <laughs> All right. All well, right. in the category One. of Damn drama. It. One. Damn it. Name the 2001 film that was inspired by the life events of John Forbes Nash Jr. Huh? Read the question. <laughs> Name the 2001 film that was inspired by the life events of John Forbes Nash Jr. Man, no, no. Catch me if you can. Looking for a beautiful mind. Oh, beautiful oh mind. that douchebag. Well, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. on that one. Oh, that oh. guy. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, that one. All right. Forbes All right. Nash. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Kara. Yes. Your fourth question in the first category. Under the category of Oscars. What 1979 Best Picture winner also saw Oscar wins for stars Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep? Oh, um, The War of the Roses. <gasps> They're looking for Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, damn. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's going to happen all night. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Yes, 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 yes. Your, I love you. I love you. Kara, yeah. your fifth question. <laughs> In round number one, under the category of horror films. Oh, great. J.A. Bayona directed this 2007 horror film produced by Guillermo del Toro. 2007. Attack the Block. We're looking for The Orphanage. <laughs> ah, I hope I get one. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Can we do animated comedy next? <laughs> All right, your final question in round number one. You Under the category, 
Got of this. movie quotes. You got that. Ooh, movie quote. Name the movie featuring this quote. I'm having an old friend for dinner. The Silence of the Lambs. Yes! Correct! One point. Yes! One point. Kara's on the board. It's a tie game. It as, is now a tie game. As we yes! shift back to right, Sasha Pro Yay, yay, yay. Sasha, one. in the category of Oscars, who won the 1972 Best Actress Oscar for her performance in Bob Fosse's Cabaret? Oh, I know this. Uh, uh, Liza Minnelli. Correct. God damn. Nice go. one she right. pulls out there. In the category of horror. Fart. <laughs> Name the 2005 film with the following premise. A cave diving expedition goes horribly wrong as lurking beneath the crevices are flesh-eating predators. The Descent? Correct. Correct. Sasha's so starting to make a tear here. There was a really hot dude in that. That's the only reason I remember it. And your final category in movie quotes, <sighs> name the movie featuring the quote, I'll have what she's having. Oh, come on. That's the question. Should I on. act it out first and then? If you can Gross do it in 12 seconds. Stock. Gross. The answer is When Harry Met Sally. Correct. Correct. All right. <laughs> These are biased. And now Sasha Bias. Pro Raver is up four to one going into she the second round. She struggled in the first half I of questions and cleaned up in the second half. She had a half. good second oh. half there. All right, you round won. two. Here's how it works. Josh McCougar will bring out the wheel of death, as some people call it. And he spins it. He walks. Woo! There's a the little bit of a <laughs> dance. Woo! And wow. so how it works is the competitors will spin the wheel. If it lands on something they don't <laughs> like the first time, they can spin again. Makuga, you oh. have one job. Straighten the wheel out. Unless oh. it lands on opponent's choice. There we then go. they are, have mm. to go whatever their opponent wants them to choose. You can go to multiple Those choice pants. here if you want. It will diminish the points to one point as opposed to two. Sasha, you're up four to one. Would you like to go first or second? Second. Second. All right, Kara, you are up. Please spin the wheel. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Not and it lands on... Not comedy. Comedy. Comedies. Not animated comedy. Do you want to stay or would you like yeah. to spin again? You're going to stay. stay. She's going to take the category of comedy. All right. We'll see. I should have gotten Kramer versus Kramer. Okay. It's very upsetting. Kara, under the category of comedies, in 17 again, who plays the younger version of Matthew Perry? <gasps> Zach Correct All for right. two points. Yay! Two oh points. man, and a fantastic movie. Your second question. I hope it's about Zach Efron. Under the category <laughs> of comedies, in what adventure comedy stars Martin Lawrence as an employee of a medieval-themed amusement park who, after a blow to the head, awakens in 14th-century England? This is not a great film, <laughs> and I can't remember. Now remember, you do have the option I, for multiple choice. Mind. Yeah, multiple choice, please, I will. All right, is it A, Ironclad, B, Your Highness, C, Knights of the Round, or D, Black Knight? Black Knight. Correct! <laughs> Wouldn't have got that on my own. That Zac Efron question really put her over the top. Really. Right, Your third question under the category of comedies. Who plays the fuchsia-colored rhino in Death to Smoochie? Oh, uh, Robin Williams. Oh, no, wait. It's Chance not. for a steal. It's not. It's Shut up! Can I go multiple Robin times? Robin Williams? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So Edward Norton's in that movie, but he's not the rhino. I don't think. Wait, hold on. It's not Robin Williams. Fuck it. Bye. Edward Norton. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> For a two-point steal. Right. I almost talked myself out of the right answer. I almost JT'd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> JT just can't Concert. make it out of anything. Whoa, Please run All right, your last question, Kara. I just don't your fourth question. Steve Martin and Queen Latifah star in what 2003 Comedy of Errors film? Errors film. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, bring it down? B, house party? C, bringing down the house? D, it's complicated. Bring it down the house. Correct. <laughs> All right, there you go. Not a bad round. A big, a big nice two point job, steal, though. Bro. Yes. And Sasha's still in the lead here. Six to five. Sasha, please, you're up. Five. Spin. Not bad. It's not bad, girly. There's the spin. All right. As the wheel almost topples over. Lands oh, on. Oh, the Sandra Bullock. I'm going with it. Going I'm with going Sandy. with Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Going with Sandy Bay. Oh, I might live to regret this. Let Why? one of the questions be speed. All right, here we go. Sandra Bullock. This could be a big round for Sasha or maybe a chance to steal for Kara. Here we go. Oh, shite. Who knows? Question one. Sandra's identity was erased in which movie? The Net. Correct for two points. Right off the bat. That was big. 
Who provides the voice of mission control in gravity? I think I know the answer, but I want multiple choice. Is it A, Tom Hanks, B, Kevin Bacon, C, Gary Sinise, D, Ed Harris? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Five. It's either Gary Sinise or Ed Harris because it's an Apollo 13 thing, three, but I'm going to go with two, Gary Sinise. Kara, would you like to steal? Oh, you don't say if she's right or not? If yeah, you can guess. steal, wrong. I'm wrong. So you, see, you can steal because she got it wrong. Oh, Ed Harris. Fuck. Correct. Fuck. Correct. Oh, I just did yeah. the easy game. There we I go. knew the answer and I talked myself out of it. Good job, All right, girl. here we go. Question three. Drinks. Who stars opposite Sandra Bullock in Forces of Nature? Oh, 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 oh. come on. Five. The Batfleck, a.k.a. Ben Affleck. There you go. AKA Two points for Sasha. Points. The sad Scoring Black. the points. And in your final question. In awesome. Love Potion number nine, how Black. was the potion taken? Multiple choice. Was it as an oral spray? Hot. B, as a lotion? C, as an eye drop? D, as a tablet? Well, I would think an oral consumption based on that. I'm going to go with a mouth spray. Oral spray is what you're going That's with? That's my mouth, yes. That is correct. <laughs> so one point. All right, that's it. That's so, right. so we have now, it is 11 to 6 as we get Still into anybody's the game. third Still anybody's five game. point lead here by Sasha Pro Raver. Thank you, Makuga. Round three. Here's how round three works. The competitors will pick three numbers from 1 to 25. The first one will be worth one point. The second one is worth three points. The third one is worth five points. Sasha, you are in the lead. Please pick your three numbers. I'm going to go 21, yep. 3, okay. and 8. Kara? 6, six. 17, 11. 6, 17, and 11. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. Kara, for your one-pointer, you chose category number six. That is Indiana Jones films. <gasps> oh, I hope I Who played the love interest, Elsa, in The Last Crusade? Oh, my God. I have to come up with the actress's name? Yes. She's so blonde and pretty, and she slept with both the Joneses. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm never going to remember her name. Five, this is a tragedy. Four, three. They, they talk in their sleep. That's two, how she knew. One. Nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Allison Duty oh. is her name. Well, that's Duty. Just All right, here Duty. we go. All right. Kara, for your category 17, you picked family films. You got this. In 2003's Cheaper by the Dozen, Steve Martin moves his family to Indiana so that he can begin his new job as a local college coaching what sport? I mean, my basketball. Football. Damn it! What it was? was All right. Basketball or football? Here's how this works. You have to get it. Kara oh, has to win. hit the five okay. pointer, or Sasha will win by way of technical knockout. That's all right. All right. Okay. Kara, your five point question mm -hmm. for the tie. You chose number eleven. That gives you the category of movie taglines. Oh, oh. good God. Question. Name the film with the following tagline. Sex, clothes, popularity. Is there a problem here? Sex, clothes, popularity. Is there a problem here? What year is that from? Ah! Sex, clothes, popularity. Is there a problem? Five, four, three, I don't know. two, three. Make a guess. One. I Make a guess. Know. I don't know. And your oh, winner by way of technical knockout, ladies and gentlemen, the mouse, Sasha Pro-Rave. Victory feels so bitter. The answer was, <laughs> the answer was clueless. Clueless. What a terrible tagline. All right, so there's the match. They both, Sasha for Raver came out strong in that second round, had a really good end of the first round too. Kara will come back, obviously. This is her first match, and I think that it's first getting used to the game. But let's talk to Josh McCougar, who has both Kara Warner and Sasha for Raver after the match. Well, movie trivia Schmodown fans, I'm here with both competitors today. Sasha Pearl Raver, Kara Warner, two of the most lovely women you'll ever meet. I'm pretty much the luckiest guy in the world right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm blushing, I know I'm blushing. This is amazing. Uh, ladies, fantastic job today. How do you feel right now? Let's start with Kara Warner. Listen, 
This Schmodown is an intimidating place. These people know their shit. You might have to believe that. Uh, so I was just, I really was hoping that I would, that my mental faculties wouldn't be too out of whack and that I would get a few points. So I feel like I have succeeded. I mean, I don't like to lose. It's not terrible losing to Sasha because she does also know a lot of things and she's a, she's a nice lady. Uh, but of course, I'm going to kick myself. I'm probably going to have anxiety dreams over Kramer versus Kramer. And a bunch of and all the other ones I should have known. Were there ones that you thought like I know this, I know this, I know this, and it just didn't come to you? Yeah, well, I mean, it trips you up because you put on the spot and you're thinking like, well, if I say this, I, I, the, whatever. The multiple choice thing helps because then at least it jogs your memory. Uh, the lights are real, folks. They do create somewhat of a brain fart. Let's talk to our winner today, Sasha Pearl Raver, the mouth, uh, my co-host on TV Talk every Monday here on Collider. Every Monday. Um, uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm sad, man. Kara's my dog. It mm -hmm. sucks. Like, there are so many people who I would have loved to have beaten. Kara is not one of them. Uh, I feel better knowing that I showed relatively well. I still would like to know what those last three questions were so I could see whether or not this was just sort of a lucky break and beginner nerves. Um, but, you know, we when we walked in, we realized that we both were wearing gremlin shirts and Kara is the good and I am the evil. Yeah. And I feel a little evil right now. Uh, you're a not... Little, little evil. Little... Talking to yourself, I know if the right answer is JTE evil. <laughs> you're not little evil. Uh, you're just a little evil. Um, uh, so, Sasha, you're today's winner. Who do you want to see next? Who do you want? Who do you want to take on in the Schmodown? I think there are some people I would like to see you take out. Who do you want to see? I want to hear who you want to take okay, out, and then let's, let's agree see it together. Let's see it at the same time. We'll go one, two, three. Okay. Well, here's what I could say. I would love to come back as a team with Kara. Ooh. Kara, and I feel like we have we would be a good co. Yeah. Oh, I would love that. be awesome. Yeah. But if I could take on one person, come on. You know who it is. Let's get together. John Roca? Fuck that. Finstock. Finstock oh, can oh, eat oh, my oh. poo. I want to bring Finstock to his fucking knees and tell him to suck it, bitch. That's what I want. You heard it here first. Bring Finstock to his knees. Uh, and she tell him to suck it, bitch. And tell him to suck it, bitch. I believe there was some sort of a domestic battle as well. <laughs> so maybe we'll bring in your, your lovely husband oh, in here yeah! as well to yeah! to even up the stakes even more. Kara Warner, how do you feel about a Finstock battle? I mean, I'd love it. I mean, she she needs to like let go. She could say that stuff to me too. We can get a little more we can get a little more feisty. You know, I don't I don't feel sorry for myself. I just didn't know the freaking questions this time. I will come back and be better. And know this stuff. She comes in hot. Yeah. She's the people's champ. See if you will. Oh. Uh-oh. Ew. And P.S. You don't have a microphone, so no one can hear you. I was just at the coffee bean over there, and I heard my name. <laughs> Somebody. You're an idiot. You don't even know who's going to face Hello. the camera. Hi. I don't know you, but now I do. <laughs> Careful. Herpes is catching. Ooh. No, my hands are clean. Why does Sasha, wait, why yeah. does Sasha have such uh, a... Here's, uh, I don't know what her problem is, but would you, what do you want me to do? Bow down and suck it? What, is Whoa. that what you said? Bring you to your fucking knees and tell you to suck it. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'll accept the challenge. I got a lot of people challenging me left and right. Not even Schmodown, like on the streets and stuff like that. So, I'm cool with whatever you guys want to do. You want to play me? Let's do it. And guess what happens? Uh, we could do it. No. This is my favorite shirt. Don't do that. Texting <laughs> you out. Wow. Okay. Is that what she's doing? No, you, you had a... You listen. Out. Listen. You had a pretty good performance here. I mean, she didn't really know anything, really. Ooh, you better say it. I didn't know the category. You can't talk shit about her. It's all about the category. Well, I knew Kramer versus Kramer. And it's so easy to know stuff when you're not on front of the camera. And cheaper by the dozen and other stuff. Listen, I got to go back to that. All right, all right, Finstock. All right, all right. Finst she, uh, Finstock accepts the challenge against Sasha Pearl Raver, uh, my teammate with the Mega Powers. Now the team... Combined together of Sasha Pearl Raver, Kara Warner, um, early early team name. I'm going with the Team People's Choice. <gasps> Whoa, Ooh, that's very kind. If, if, it's if the People's they will Choice. It, we will do it. Team People's Choice here on the Schmodown. Kara Warner, Sasha Pearl Raver. I'm Josh McCuga. Thank you guys. All right, so there you go. You hear from both Sasha Pearl Raver and Kara Warner. Obviously, they're here to have fun. They're friends. 
And so it was a good match. Yeah, well, Sasha, you know, she struggled in those first three questions, only getting one out of three, but then she turned on the Jets. She then mowed off three in a row, got in the second round, made some key steals, kind of mowed through her own questions as well. She set the pace, and Kara just wasn't able to keep up. And that's the thing with Sasha, is that when Sasha locks in and knows what she knows, she's dangerous. Because when you saw when she was confident with Sasha, with um, Sandra Bullock, she knew her movies. And I think that that's the thing. If you play Sasha in categories that she absolutely knows, you're in trouble. Yes, and sometimes when she doesn't know answer, she thinks the answer is fuck. That's true. But I mean, it's definitely broke. She is the Martin Scorsese. She is the Martin Scorsese of this league. Yes, sure. absolutely. She's the Wolf of Wall Street, if you will. Um, so there you go. There's the match. Sasha Pro Raver. We will definitely be seeing her again. Kara Warner will be seeing both of them again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. As I said before, a lot of brand new competitors coming into the league. Let us know if there's someone that you want to see. Go ahead and comment. If you aren't already part of the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group, do it. It was started by the fans. Go and check it out. For John Campia, I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.